Welcome back guys. Well today I'm out here on the lake and I'm pretty hungry. I'm looking for something to eat. Stay tuned. Right so I'm out here on a big lake here looking for some, well I'm looking for some fish, very particular fish today. I'm looking for perch. I want to make a curry for lunch. I brought some ingredients with me uh, for a little cook up here at uh, a cottage. So I'm just going to head out to some weed beds and uh, attempt to catch some perch. Sun's high in the sky, you cannot ask for a better day than this. I've got my trusty old uh, fishing rod here. Now this one, um, I actually got, this is a collapsing fishing rod and it's a bit broken. I actually got it for my trip to New Brunswick. It's pretty much broken out of the box, so it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, I'm just using sort of a small spoon here on the end. Um, the perch in here aren't huge, um, so I'm going to need a couple at least to make my meal for lunch. Well, I made quick work of that. I got a couple of uh, couple of perch. They're a little bit small, but that's why I have two. So let's go inside now and make some lunch. So right here I've got a bit of rice on the go. I just put a little bit of olive oil in there and just some uh, scented jasmine rice. Over here in this pan I've got more of the extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of butter. We'll get that uh, melted right away. So the meal's pretty simple today. I've got uh, garlic, ginger, coconut milk, curry powder, perch, and tomato, and a little bit of salt and pepper. So let's get this in the frying pan. I'm going to start with the garlic, get that uh, going. Can't even get this heat low enough, it's so hot, it's spitting the oil back at me. This will also get the ginger in there too, it's one of those sort of woody type vegetables, or roots rather I should say. So it's going to soften a bit in there. Well, it smells good guys. Give it a good stir so nothing sort of sticks to the pan. Oh, that ginger smells great too. Fish chunks in there. These will take absolutely no time to cook. Just making a single portion today, so I don't need a whole lot of ingredients, which is super handy. Of course, if you're feeding a family or something like that, you're going to want to do something different like pike or bigger fish. Or get some of those giant northern jumbo perch. Alright, now's the time I think I'm going to add a bit of the coconut milk. A big hunk of it in there. Maybe a little bit too much. It melts nicely, eh, the oil in there. Coconut's pretty good for you. Got a healthy oils in there. Oh yeah, smells really good. Scrape up all those bits off the bottom of the pan. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of curry now to the sauce. Stir it in well. Let's add in as much or as little as you want. This is kind of like a mild curry powder. It's not really spicy or anything. It's just the local no-name grocery store brand curry. Last but not least, you're going to add your tomato, just for a little bit of color. This is the tomato from our garden. Really excited about that. See how quick and easy that was? Of course, I almost forgot. Don't forget to add a little bit of salt and pepper uh, to your meal there. Just to your taste. So what we'll do is let it cook a little bit longer, like maybe a minute. Basically, I'll probably just turn it off and let it sort of finish simmering there. And we'll get it on a bed of rice. And that's how you plate it. You get the rice and then you pour your curry on top. Doesn't that look amazing? Fresh perch curry. Got a beautiful view from the water here, so I'm going to uh, enjoy my lunch. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That is so good. Curried fish is excellent. I think perch is a really good pairing uh, for this meal. It's a very mild, sweet tasting fish. It really co complements like the coconut milk and things like that. And you can taste that garlic in there, a little bit of, you know, um, spiciness from the ginger. I highly recommend this. Really good, and I'm so glad to have this right now. I'm very hungry. 
It's nice to have a warm meal in your belly and nothing beats having a meal that you caught and prepared yourself. So I'm going to finish my meal and I want to show you a really cool book that I picked up that I know you guys are going to be interested in. So here's this fantastic book that I just picked up the other day and I love it. It's called Hunt, Gather, Cook by Hank Shaw and basically goes through all different kinds of recipes for um, things you can forage for, hunt and fish for. Uh, Hank is an award-winning journalist. He's a hunter, he's an angler, he's a forager. He goes all over the world to uh, acquire food and make fantastic recipes. You can follow him on his blog at Hunter, Angler, Gardener, Cook. Um, he's also a fantastic chef and the photographs he puts on his Instagram, for example, are out of this world. You'll be drooling when you look at his Instagram feed. Uh, lots of great uh, food ideas there. He's got numerous cookbooks. Uh, he's currently on tour with his most current book. This is an older one, um, but I just picked this up the other day and I was so inspired that today I was like, I'm going to make my own um, my own meal here at the at the cottage. So that's what I did. So inside the book there's lots of recipes, tips and tricks for you know your foraging, your hunting, and your fishing and fantastic recipes. So I mean get your hands on this book. Uh, it's really good. You won't be disappointed. Uh, all of Hank's books are fantastic and if you really want to be hungry then follow him on Instagram and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Alright guys uh, get on out there and uh, you know enjoy the last few weeks of summer. It's still really beautiful out there. I hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care.